Welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, ay pag-uusapan naman po natin yung mga tips and tricks on how to answer statement and assumption questions. This type of questions ay kabilang po ito sa logical reasoning test sa mga government examinations. Stay tuned until the end since I will explain what is a statement and what is an assumption and what are the differences between explicit and implicit. But first, we have to understand what is the idea of a statement and assumption. So when we say a statement, it is a factuality that is connected to any sort of general subject matter. At kapag sinabi naman po nating assumption from the word itself, nag-a-assume tayo without any proof. So para mas maintindihan po natin, let us say for example, Pero i-coconnect po natin sa love para lahat po ay makarelate at madaling maintindihan. Kasi yun yung sabi nila eh, kapag yung mga examples daw connected sa love, mas madaling maintindihan ng lahat. Okay, so subukan natin. So, yung statement ganito. Eric loves Samantha. And yung assumption naman, sabihin natin, Eric will marry Samantha soon. In this given example, the statement is a clear and factual piece of information which is provided that Eric really loves Samantha. But the assumption is only a belief or a prediction or an inference which is drawn out from the statement. So, ibig sabihin nito, the statement really tell us na Eric really loves Samantha. But it doesn't mean na kapag love na niya si Samantha, Hindi porkit sinabing love niya, pakakasalan na niya, the soonest. So, kumbaga po, nag a lang tayo na pakakasalan ni Eric si Samantha kasi nga love niya, based sa statement. So, kumbaga, yung assumption naka-base pa rin sa statement pero walang proof na talagang pakakasalan niya. Sana all pakakasalan. Pero actually, ganun po talaga yung concept dito. Yung statement, yes, it is based on a factual and a clear piece of information. Pero yung assumption is only a assumption. <laughs> is only an assumption which is also based on the statement but without proof. Kumbaga, ipinapakita rin po sa mga assumptions na it will follow sa statements but not necessarily or walang garantiya na yung assumption will follow from the statement. But there is a possibility. Kumbaga, hindi tayo siguradong pakakasalan ni Eric si Samantha but there is a possibility or a chance. Now, balik na po tayo sa ating tips and tricks about statement and assumption. Iwanan na po natin yung mga love topics na yan kasi hindi po yan makakatulong sa atin sa actual na civil service exam. Okay, so now, sa mga actual na examinations po, usually may one statement. Kumbaga, bibigyan tayo ng isang statement tapos yung mga assumptions, usually two or more assumptions. And after given with a statement and assumption, all we have to do is to decide. Whether the assumption is true or relevant to the statement. But listen, how to decide whether the assumption is really true or relevant based on the statement? All we have to do is to use our logic, common sense, and general awareness. So gagamitin natin ang tatlong ito to decide whether the assumption is really true or relevant based on the statement given. And by the way, another thing na dapat nating malaman when answering statement and assumption problem is yung mga words na implicit and explicit. Ano ba tong mga words na to? Kapag sinabi po nating implicit, meaning not directly or clearly stated. So kumbaga, yung implicit, it is suggested or understood without being directly stated. So kapag sinabi naman po nating explicit, when something is explicit, it is stated clearly and in detail, and it removes confusion or doubt. Now remember, when it comes to assumption, if the assumption is implicit, that means it is true based on the statement. 
Otherwise, if the assumption is explicit, that means it is false based on the statement. Now, when the assumption is false or explicit, that means we cannot directly derive it from the statement. Now, another thing. Kapag nakita nyo po ang mga salitang ito sa assumption like every, each, none, all, only, etc., yung mga salitang ito ang magbibigay sa inyo or it dictates you to say or to conclude that the assumption is explicit. We will now try to answer these five item questions for you to practice para sa inyong upcoming na examination kung paano sagutan ang ganitong klasing mga tanong. Question number one. If you trouble me, I will slap you. So here, a mother warns her child. Feel free to read the assumptions and choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and you may pause the video. Ang tamang sagot po is letter A. Only assumption 1 is implicit. Again, ano nga yung implicit? Kapag ang assumption is true. Now, sabi dito sa assumption 1, with the warning, the child may stop troubling her. And remember, na sinabi ko kanina na kapag nakakita kayo ng mga words na every, each, none, all, only sa mga assumptions that means yung assumption na yan is explicit so observe all children all nandito yung salitang all this means the assumption is explicit assumption 1 is implicit kasi nga po uh, the statement indicates that the mother expects uh, the warning will prevent or discourage the child from troubling her while assumption 2, all children are basically naughty. Yung assumption na ito is not implicit or otherwise this is uh, an explicit assumption because the mother's warning does not necessarily suggest that she believes na lahat po ng bata are inherently naughty. Ang ina-address lang po ng mother dito is yung specific behavior of her own child. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So now let's proceed with question number two. Statement. Unemployment allowance should be given to all unemployed Indian youth above 18 years of age. So ang assumption one nagsasabi na there are unemployment youth who needs monetary support. Assumption two said the government has sufficient funds to provide allowance to all unemployed youth. So, what do you think will be the answer for this? Actually, the correct answer is letter A. Only assumption 1 is implicit. Assumption 1 is implicit because it suggests that unemployment allowance, which implies na meron pong mga individual na wala pong trabaho and in need of this kind of support. So, this only means that the assumption is true based on the given statement. Or in other words, masasabi po natin that we can directly derive the assumption from the given statement. So, kumbaga po, the necessity of an unemployment allowance uh, implicitly confirms na meron talagang mga unemployed youth na nangangailangan ng financial support. Now, the assumption 2 the government has sufficient funds to provide allowance to all unemployed youth. So we can say that this assumption is not necessarily implicit in the statement. While it might be true that the implementation of such policy would require sufficient funds, but the statement itself doesn't actually say anything kung saan manggagaling yung pera or kung saan manggagaling yung pondo na gagamitin para sa mga unemployment allowance. So, without giving more information, we can't know for sure what the speaker assumes about the government's financial situation. So, it means the assumption to does not follow what this statement wants to imply. So, how about this one? In order to bring punctuality in our office, we must provide conveyance allowance to our employees. So, this is in charge of a company 
tells personnel manager. Assumption 1. Convenience allowance will not help in bringing punctuality. Assumption 2. Discipline and reward should always go hand in hand. The correct answer is letter B. Only assumption 2 is implicit. Now, bakit kaya? So, assumption 1 is not implicit in the statement because the in-charge of the company or the in-charge statement directly suggests that they believe providing a conveyance allowance will aid or will be a remedy in promoting punctuality among employees. Because uh, there are underlying belief here appears to be that some employees may be late due to issues related to commuting such as the cost, availability, or the reliability of transportation. So, ang ginagawa dito, they will provide a conveyance allowance because it can help mitigate these issues which leads to improve punctuality. Kasi po, sinasabi sa ating statement, in order to bring punctuality in the office, the company must provide conveyance allowance to the employees. Pero si Assumption 1, sinasabi niya, conveyance allowance will not help in bringing punctuality. So, kumbaga, kinokontradict niya si statement. So, therefore, this is an explicit Assumption 2 is an implicit in the statement because by suggesting a conveyance allowance as a strategy to promote punctuality, the in-charge is implicitly endorsing a view that rewards can be used effectively to encourage desired behaviors, uh, which means to increase the punctuality in the office. So, it can be inferred that the in-charge believes a hand-in-hand -hand approach of discipline, which means the punctuality plus reward or the conveyance allowance. Next, we have question number four. This book is so prepared that even a layman can study science in the absence of a teacher. So, ano daw yung sabi? Okay, so kayo na lang yung magbasa ng assumptions and feel free to pause the video and choose the letter that corresponds to your answer. Now, in this item, meron po tayong three assumptions, but the correct answer is letter B. Only assumption 2 and 3 are implicit. Bakit kaya 2 and 3 lang? Assumption 1 is not necessarily implicit in the statement because the statement claims that the book is designed in such a way that it facilitates independent study of science by a layman. So pag sinabi nating layman, yung parang uh, yung mga walang pinag-aralan ba kumbaga. So layman like sinasabi ko di ba in layman's term. So, we consider assumption 1 which is not an implicit in the statement because again, the statement claims that the book is designed in such a way that it facilitates an independent study of science by a layman. However, hindi po nangangahulugan ha, hindi nangangahulugan or it doesn't automatically mean that a layman has a desire or a wish to study science without a teacher. So, ang nais lamang pong ipahiwatig or the statement simply indicates that the book enables the possibility for independent study of science. However, hindi po sinasabi sa statement that a layman wishes to study science without a teacher, right? And assumption 2, as we consider it as an implicit in the statement. Because by emphasizing that the book allows for self-study in the absence of a teacher, so the statement implies that there could be circumstances where a teacher is not available. So, uh, this book could be beneficial. And also, with assumption 3, uh, this is uh, an implicit in the statement because the significance of the book being prepared in a manner that even a layman can study science independently indicates that without such resources, a layman might typically struggle with uh, independent study of science. 
So again, yung isang layman who doesn't have a foundational knowledge tapos mag-aaral pa sila ng mga science concepts. So this is very challenging. So kailangan po talaga nila ng isang guided assistance which is yung book. And this book na tinutukoy sa statement is so prepared that even a layman can study science in the absence of a teacher. And here the book is intended to guide someone when a teacher is not available. So therefore, both two and three assumptions are implicit. And lastly, we have question number five. We do not want you to see our product on newspaper. Visit our shop to get a full view. It is an advertisement. And also, we have three assumptions here. So feel free to pause the video and try to analyze this one. And the correct answer is letter C. Only assumption 2 and 3 are implicit. So we consider assumption 1 which is not directly implied in the statement because the advertisement encourages potential customers to visit their shop to get a full view of the product. But it doesn't specify or suggest that customers generally make their purchase decisions based on seeing the product's name in an advertisement. Ang sinasabi po kasi sa ating statement na sabi ng isang advertisement na hindi namin gusto na makita ninyo yung aming product sa newspaper kundi bisitahin ninyo ang aming shop para makita ninyo ang full view ng aming mga products. That is why we consider assumption 1 as an explicit in the statement, uh, which also means this is not an implicit. Bakit? Hindi naman po nangangahulugan na kapag nakita na ng customer yung product's name in an advertisement, it doesn't suggest that the customers generally make their purchase decisions, di ba? While assumption 2, uncommon appeal may attract the customers. So this assumption is implicit in the advertisement. Bakit? So, in layman's term, this assumption is saying that doing something different or unusual might catch people's attention and make them more interested. So, in this case, the company is doing something a bit different with their advertisement. So, kumbaga, kakaiba po kasi yung strategy na ginamit ng company in showing ads in the newspaper. Kasi nga, ang nakasaad po sa advertisement nila is ayaw nila na makita ng mga customer nila yung kanilang product sa newspaper. Sa halip, dapat bumisita na lang yung customer sa kanilang shop. So, ito po yung kumbaga mag spark ng curiosity sa kanilang mga customers. And the company is hoping that this uh, different approach might stand out and get people interested enough to actually come and visit their store and at the same time to check out the product. And lastly, assumption 3 which is also and clearly an implicit in the statement because the central purpose of the advertisement is to attract people to the shop to see the product in person. So, the advertiser is implicitly assuming that some people who see the ad will be interested enough to make the effort to visit the shop and view the product. So, kumbaga naniniwala sila na yung kanilang advertising method will lead to potential customers taking the desired action to purchase the product. So, quick recall tayo kapag sinabing implicit, that means the assumption really follows what the statement wants to imply or otherwise it is explicit. So in other words, implicit assumptions are the unstated or underlying ideas that follow or align with what the statement is trying to convey or imply. And that concludes our video and I hope you've learned something new today. Kung paano nga ba sagutan ang ganitong klasing mga tanong. And kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.